A newspaper is the center of a community, and that's not going to be replaced by websites nor blogs. Chabad of the Five Towns have long been admirers and beneficiaries of the great work of the Five Towns Jewish Times, which is a great source of information and inspiration in the Torah world. The outstanding work that Larry and Esther Gordon have done for our community could fill volumes, way more than any newspaper articles. In particular, Larry and his brother Ben were among the founders of the Chabad Shabbos Minyan, initiated 18 years ago on Shabbos Hanukkah, in memory of their dear father, Reb Nisan ben Reb Yechran Olav HaSholom. They would come every Shabbos at our original location, at 540 Willow Avenue, even if it meant pushing a stroller to get there. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Larry and Esther Gordon. Good evening, this is my wife Esther and our two youngest sons, Nissen and Benachem, are standing on the other side of the camera, rolling their eyes and trying to get us to laugh. And our four married children, Malki and Moishi Hirsch, Chani and Yochanan Gordon, Didi and Eliezer Franklin, and Mari and Dovi Gordon are somewhere out there, thrilled and probably blushing that we just mentioned their names. We're very pleased to be part of this very special 18th anniversary tribute to Rebbe Tzanachani and Rebbe Zalman Wallowick of Chabad of the Five Towns. The accomplishments of these last 18 years have been extraordinary and they truly pay homage to the vision of the Rebbe and the exemplary fashion in which the Wallows carry out their shlichas. Today, 18 years after the Rebbe's departure from our everyday lives, Chabad overall has continued to achieve remarkable success, even though without the Rebbe here to lead, it would seem that the movement is on cruise control of sorts. While many adherents to Chabad, those who daven here or those who attend the school, the power of the Rebbe's leadership is still having fantastic impact. For me, or for us, however, we were Zoha to experience the Rebbe in our lives over the years. When I took the initiative to pack myself into the main shul in 770 that had a capacity of about 2,000 but managed to squeeze in 5,000 for Hakafas. They started the celebration at about 1.30 a.m. and it continued on until about 4 a.m. That was the last year of Hakafas before the Rebbe took ill. The point is that it is these fleeting but powerful memories that not only energizes individuals like us, but apparently an entire global movement. As a publisher and editor of the Five Towns Jewish Times, I get to see and hear from people on a daily basis the great impact the Chabad of the Five Towns has had and continues to have as evidenced by what the Wallowicks have accomplished right here in this community. I was born and raised in Borough Park at a time when Chabad was not really very familiar to anyone there. Shortly after we were married, it was probably the first time I ever went to or Davin in the main shul at 770 Eastern Parkway. It was interesting, but I really didn't have an appreciation yet for what it was all about. I mean, we've been to Chabad houses in places like Miami Beach and Los Angeles, and more recently in Venice and this past summer in Paris. We understand Chabad's function in these faraway places, but I have to admit, I never imagined Chabad could have the kinds of influence or impact the Chani and Reb Zalman do right here in the Five Towns. I know that I speak for both of us when I say that I don't think the Five Towns, with its many yeshivas and chesed institutions, would be what it is today had there not been a Chabad of the Five Towns. Again, it is very special to be able to count ourselves amongst the supporters of Chabad of the Five Towns. We thank our friends and relatives who have joined us for this very special celebration. L'chaim to a great and successful 18 years. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Good night.